AI is an extremely hot topic right now, and that's for really good reason, especially if you're in a creative field at all. Copy AI is one of such tools that is incredibly powerful that you can use to enhance your writing in many different ways. It uses machine learning in order to help you generate copy for emails, blogs, articles, and anything else you can think of. In this video today, I'm gonna to show you the basics of how to use Copy AI yourself so that you can get started with it today. So the first thing you wanna do is go to copy.ai, that's the URL, and at the top right here, click Get Started. Started. This is where you can either log in or create an account. You can also sign in with Google or Facebook, and then I'll do that real quick, and then we'll carry on. Once you're logged in and you're first getting started with it, everyone can use Copy AI for free, and on the free plan, you're allowed to have 2,000 words per month. If you need more than that, you can upgrade it and you can pay either monthly or yearly based on what you need, and you can upgrade it, cancel at any time. But I'm gonna stick with the free version today and we'll just run through some of the features and what it can do. Anytime you do wanna upgrade, if you are using the free plan, you can just on the bottom left click upgrade, it'll take you here to the subscription panel and you can kind of upgrade from there, it's pretty easy. One of the things that make Copy AI so incredible is just how easy it is to use and how great its user interface is. Navigating the user interface is incredibly easy. So you can see here up on the top left is chat. If you click that, it'll bring you up to the chat interface and you can see some of the prompts I've already done. We were talking about generative AI and ice cream because that's very important as well. If you go to my projects, this will bring you up all of the projects that you have already. Um, in the top right here, you can see that you can make folders, new projects, and you can sort it by your date creative last modified and alphabetical. Then on the top left here is Infobase. So Infobase is where you can save information about your company here so that you don't have to generate it in manually every time you want to use it. And then you can see the templates here. The templates for Copy AI are fantastic. And one of the things I really, really, really like about it, they're really good. Uh, and so you can basically just go through, you can either search for what you want, go through through the different ones. Uh, they're broken down pretty simply. Social media, email, website, blog. Uh, the blog post ones are really good here. So you can like, let's write a blog intro. You can hit start new project. That's pretty easy. And I'll show you that here in a minute. Let's go back to the chat prompt here really quick. Very easy here on the bottom here. You can see the chat bar. You can type in whatever you want and then it'll bring it up here. You can browse some example prompts as well by clicking the browse prompts. This will take you just to some ideas to help you get started. Uh, really nice, especially when you are first getting started to just kind of lay the way for how to use it properly. So I'm going to walk you through a sample prompt and how to use it real quick. Um, I'm not going to go through all of the advanced ways to use this or a whole bunch of tips and tricks. If you're looking for some of that, go down into the video description below. There's an excellent blog article that's linked there. It has a whole bunch of different tips and tricks and some more advanced use cases, but let's just do some simple ones just to kind of show you how it works. So let's go back to the templates. This is a great place to start. Uh, and let's just do a blog intro here really quick. So you just choose what you want. Again, you can search. Um, let's start a new project here. And then the blog title here, we're going to do... Ethan's amazing ice cream blog. I'm now getting in the world of ice cream content creation. And then just type in what the blog's about. So here's what my ice cream blog's about. And then what's really cool and something that I love about Copy AI is you can create a tone with this. So this is something that sets it apart from other AI tools. And this is really where you can kind of customize what your stuff is gonna be. So my blog is gonna be, let's say it's very friendly. I like friendly a lot. Um, so we'll have a friendly ice cream blog and then we'll hit create content. So it'll do some smart thinking here, magically create our copy. And here are some blog intros that it created. So we can use these. My name is Ethan and I'm the ice cream blogger for Ethan's amazing ice cream blog, yada, yada. Uh, and they're fantastic. So let's do a quick overview of chat as well since we're here. Again, you can go to browse prompts for some ideas of stuff you can use. Um, and it gives you some ideas for like things you could use chat for. If you've used things like chat GPT in the past, pretty similar here, this is their chat prompt. So let's have it do, write me a product description for a new brand of brownie brownie ice cream. And this you just kind of type out what you want it to do and it'll do it. So brownie ice cream with by sweet indulgence. Ooh, I like and it'll write us our product description. Um, you can kind of type in whatever you want, ask questions, it'll answer them. How many calories are in brownie ice cream? And we'll just omit this here because we don't really want our brownie ice cream flavor to talk about calories, but it's really powerful and really great. Uh, especially I've, I've used this for recipes. You'd be like, give me a recipe for lasagna, which is one I just did recently. Um, and it'll search the internet, give you answers. Um, I guess food is on my mind today is all about food, but um, it's pretty awesome. And it'll, you can see it'll give us the information we want. Uh, and it's great. I think a lot of the power 
power in copy AI comes from these templates and helping you create uh, content that you need. But the chat feature is also fantastic and, and works really well. So there you have the basic overview of copy AI and how to use it and navigate the user interface. Again, if you're looking for more tips and tricks or more advanced concepts, go down into that video description below. There's an awesome blog article that goes through a lot more of those points. But this was just the basics on getting you started today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I greatly appreciate it. Before you go though, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot more content coming out, especially AI focused content. The world of AI is very exciting and we have a lot more coming out. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out and we'll see you in the next video.